So today we're here with Maria Mora from Global Furniture Group and she has been nice enough to give us a tour of their brand new showroom in the design district. So Maria, take it away. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, very excited to show you guys some of the new uh, things that we're building based on some of our post-pandemic uh, research and how to inspire people back into the workplace. Yeah, it's a big issue is people hesitant to go back to the office. And so what, what are you guys doing here to make that more um, comfortable for the employees and better for um, the managers and the owners of the businesses? So there's a lot of uh, collaboration spaces that are actually making spaces or the workplace better. So people don't necessarily want to come back into a space that they don't they can't chat with uh, with their peers or they can't have open meetings. So this is actually a really good uh, use of space right here. Um, you have basically an open space where you can have meetings with your team, but there's also a tables that you can use so you can pop your laptop and work from here and you don't necessarily have to have a stable uh, work environment or just, just basically you know what we used to have before which were cubicles or sure, sure. Um, so collaboration spaces are definitely changing the way that we work okay. and um, they're definitely allowing people to come into the spa into spaces and actually work from here without being tied down to a yeah. specific desk. Well, there's more of a flow to the open office feel and, and whatnot. Now, what, what's going on with these interesting um, sort of half cubicles that you've got here? So this is actually uh, a very good uh, new model. We've, we've seen that a lot of the spaces that people are moving into are just open spaces. They don't necessarily have walls, so there's really not sure. a lot of acoustics. Um, so these spaces actually are built to, depending on what that what that employee actually wants to do, but okay. you can build private offices from here, um, or sure. you can actually have niches that actually separate you from those open spaces or these open areas into more private areas. Okay, um, and these you can pick up and move, and uh, you know they're you know free to. Okay, that's yeah. great. So everything that you see here, you can pick up and move, okay. which is a phenomenal thing when yeah. it comes to uh, post-pandemic, the way that we work. Uh, because we don't know how long we're going to stay in a specific location. Sure, sure. We don't know if we're going to shrink or we're going to grow. Absolutely. So that yeah. helps us um, move things around. Yeah, things are less permanent, so it makes yes. sense to have some, some flexibility. So yeah. let's let's see some of the other parts of the office that we have here. So of course, um, this is kind of like a the way that most people actually are working within a space. So you have open spaces. Um, we, we use a lot of acoustics and we use a lot of textures and materials so that those open spaces don't actually uh, bounce back mm -hmm. and people are actually able to have a little bit more privacy sure. as they work in the spaces. Um, also, depending on how people work in a space, they're going to want a different storage or a different size desk. So this is how yeah. systems are evolving now, yeah. where you can have a smaller desk, smaller footprint, not necessarily a lot of storage, sure. um, but then maybe somebody next to you that likes to work in that space for a really long time, sure. it's a little bit more storage or it needs a little bit more um, desk situation. Sure. So this is kind of how we So uh, this is for the hard workers over here. Yeah, this is uh, the hard workers. Okay. Um, but then we, we kind of have, what we recommend is that when you're building spaces, um, all of your spaces are being are multifunctional. So you don't yeah. necessarily have spaces that not a lot of people are going to use. So for example, we built this conference room, but this is also good for gathering. Yeah, um, it's a beautiful space. Yeah, so, and then you have a wall system, so you have a privacy, and we can build this wall system anywhere. So okay. you can take them apart and take them as you go, um, and then you can build you know, private offices or anything you want with those walls. Systems. Okay, now I noticed also you have some, what looks to be like hospital furniture. Is this something else that you guys are doing as well? Yep, yeah. so we're actually, Expanding into our healthcare line. I think this is something that we've been growing um, pre pandemic, but especially now post pandemic, a lot of medical offices are uh, growing. So we are making sure that we're expanding into the healthcare line. Okay. And everything you guys oh, see here is our healthcare. And what, what are some of the differences between traditional office furniture and something that you would use uh, at a hospital or a clinic or something like that? There's a, there's a ton of differences, um, especially within the fabrics and dye. Uh, and also within the amount of weight that it, that specific uh, office furniture versus okay. um, hospital or post hospital furniture sure. uh, needs to hold. Um, just heavier duty or heavier duty, um, and then just lifetime warranties, right? So our workplace furniture has a lifetime warranty, but so does 
are. Um, okay. So everything you build is guaranteed for life. Everything you build is guaranteed for and, life. And where is it built? In Toronto. Okay. So, and so North American. North story. American made, cuts down on shipping costs. Time I'm sure is much faster than traditional yep. uh, furniture if you're getting it from overseas. So yep. great. Well, listen, Maria, I appreciate the time. Um, thank you again for sharing the showroom with us, and uh, have a great Easter weekend. Thanks. Yeah.